Okay, so now that you have your white label app installed, um, there are some configuration things which uh, which you need to take care of. So, um, in order to configure your white label app, um, you just log into rebrandapps.com and click on App Manager. So I'm already in the App Manager, and if you look over on the left hand side, um, if you've purchased more than one product, this is a little drop down. If not, then that just sh shows you the product that you have purchased. But if you have purchased more than one product, they all appear here, and you can switch between each of the products just by clicking between them like this. So now I'm looking at the various options for SEO Snapshot, and I'm going to switch back to Pinpoint because that's obviously where we're working. I might also add that when I did the install, you did actually see a logo here, and that was because I had actually already set up a logo in rebrandapps.com, and I'll show you where I did that. But when you do the install, you'll actually just see no image just like this because we have not uploaded a logo yet right so um, here are the steps that you need to take care of so if you look at um, autoresponder integration um, basically this is uh, where you're able to add your autoresponder code so that when a client creates a purchase um, that that client then ends up on your autoresponder or your email list um, this could be a Weber get response whichever service it is that you're using so all you're going to want to do is copy and paste your autoresponder code in here and then you'll notice that the fields will show up in your in your first name last name and email address here and all you're going to want to do is map those individual fields so for example um, I do have a get response autoresponder here and it's kind of really long and it's got all this other stuff in here and I can copy and paste that in so I'm just going to copy it and paste and then as you can see now these fields have been populated so I've only got a name and an email field and now when I click save here um, then whenever a customer creates a sale or makes a purchase uh, when we register him on the system we also will add him to your autoresponder so I'm not going to click save here but that's the process um, and so what you do need to work on is these white label options so uh, as I've told you earlier you can see there's no image here and obviously there's the white labeling and so on is basically hasn't been set at all so what you're going to want to do is give your product a name so I'm just going to call it pinpoint and I'm just going to add something on here so that you can actually see um, what's happening there uh, we do have some currency support so um, these are the currencies that are supported by both PayPal and Stripe um, and there's no conditions so um, while PayPal and Stripe might support other currencies um, such as for example the ruble um, you know there are certain conditions to that such as you know somebody purchasing in rubles would has to have to be in the country so we've excluded those kinds of currencies and we've actually just included all the currencies which both payment gateways support obviously I'm going to leave that on US dollars um, right so here is where you're going to set up your packages for example, I could set up a uh, $90 once off and be sure to click that green plus button over there because if you don't do that, it's not going to add that record. Um, and then I could add, say, something like $47 a month and I could add that without, a f without any free trial period. And then I could add, say, another one. Um, and let's make this different. Let's do, say, annual will be, I don't know. Uh, 197 and we'll give him a 30-day free trial and again click, click the green plus right so we need a logo here I'm just gonna upload uh, you know the pinpoint logo that we have if I can find it uh, there it is okay and then this, this is going to say uh, pinpoint that's reserved and this will be support at rebrandapps.com right um, now before I click save I just want to show you something um, when you go over to pinpoint so let's just say this is where you've installed your pinpoint application there's two URLs that come automatically installed with every application the one URL is checkout okay and what that does is that is your checkout page Okay, so if you've installed this on, say, you know, mypinpoint.com, uh, if you add slash checkout on the end, that will bring you to the checkout page. And I just want to show you what that looks like right now. 
Okay, so as you can see here, it says, please configure at least one payment gateway and please configure at least one plan. So obviously the checkout page requires that information in, in order to actually process payments. So if I switch back over to white label options once again, um, these are those plans that's, that it's asking for. And then we'll get to the payment integrations in a second. But I'm going to click Save now. Okay, and as I've saved these options, if I come back over here to the checkout page on on that install, now it's only asking for the payment gateway. All right. So if I go back to the uh, to the front of the app where the login screen is, okay, and there you can see my logo is now replaced that um, no image placeholder that we had in initially. And if I log in here, right here, there is the name of the application. And if I go ahead and change that really quick, so if I just change that back to pinpoint like that and click save and go back over here and refresh this, you'll see that that will have changed. Okay, so all the changes that you make in your rebrandapps.com will automatically update any changes to your application. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's move on. So we do need a payment integration. So let me just put in um, a test uh, Okay, obviously this is just a fake PayPal. Um, if you do have a Stripe account, obviously you can connect here. Also, please do review the Stripe account um, document over here, which has to do with webhooks. It's really critical that you follow this step as well. Without this, we will not be able to track any payments that your clients make. So uh, please connect to, Stri to your Stripe account using this button, and it's a pretty straightforward procedure. And then also just consult this document here as it will give you additional instructions. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I just want to use... Uh, you know just a fake PayPal account there and I'll click Save and if I go back over to the checkout page which if you'll recall is simply slash checkout on the end of wherever it is you've installed your application and now we have a checkout page and as you can see it's only PayPal that's available and you'll see the packages I've created there so $97 once off $47 monthly or 30, 30 days free trial, then 197 annually. So let's go and double check that. 97 once off, 47 monthly, or 30 days free trial with 197 annually. So it's absolutely perfect. And obviously I can switch between these. Um, and as you can see, the prices are changing. And of course, you know, this information here, um, when I rename it, that will show up here. So all the branding is intact. And as you can see here, the support desk is actually a mail to link to that rebrandapps.com, um, which I've put in as the email address here at the bottom.